What is going on guys? This is your boy the MC Tam and one Tan Virsai Tan Tiger Zero One the Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter at Tan Tiger Zero One and hit that bell notification button if you want to get notified of all of my videos or any of my videos as soon as they get get uploaded onto YouTube. Right, this is gonna be well from my from my side at least your official Bomb for Glory 2017 preview. I have the match card with me right here, uh, uh, taken from uh, Wikipedia. Just a moment, let me just open that page. Okay. Now, just as a, just you know, before we begin, the amount of advertising and hype build built towards Bomb for Glory. with so many people coming out and saying they're gonna steal the show first of all this card has eight matches on it okay Th this card has eight matches on it and in that regard within three hours I don't think they're gonna steal they're gonna have every match steal the show if they had like six matches maybe they could have done that but See, here's the thing with NXT. NXT takeovers, they have five matches and they have two and a half hours to deliver those five matches. So in that regard, in that regard, NXT wrestlers have a lot more time to, to build and deliver good matches on their takeovers. With three hours on this like on this show with th and with eight matches I don't think you're gonna have every match deliver but for impact wrestling bound for glory is one bound for glory is one pay-per-view that absolutely needs to deliver especially in a year where you had so much turbulence for impact wrestling this has been a turbulent year for impact wrestling like it or hate it like you had change of the guard you had people coming in people going accusi accusations uh, accusations being made okay top top superstars you know being involved in nefarious uh, in nefarious action bringing the company negative media lot of turbulence for impact wrestling this needs to be one of the shining moments for Impact Wrestling in 2017. Slamversary was good. Bound for Glory needs to be better than not not will be needs to be better than Slamversary. And if I may say so, by a by a pretty significant margin, Bound for Glory needs to be better than Slamversary. This is their first pay-per-view they're holding in Canada. They need to deliver. With that out of the way, let's get to your preview. Now, the match list at the bottom of the card here is, is Team Impact, which is EC3, El, uh, EC3 Eddie Edwards, your G, uh, Pro Wrestling Noah GHC champion, and uh, James Storm versus uh, Team AAA, uh, which is L. El Hijo del uh, Fantasma, Pagano, and Tahano Jr. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, th yeah, they actually spell it Texano, because that's how my uh, that's how my Zoom text app reader app reader pronounces. It. They don't say Tahano; they say Texano. This match, I think, is g is gonna be one of the two matches, which is going to be over in a rather short amount of time. I feel. Because the hype behind this match has not been as epic, if you will. Because the way they've been going about it, hold on. Yep, that's it. Alright. Sorry. Because the way they've been going about it, like building up this match, it's like, yeah, this is going to be a company versus company match, so, so we'll see who the better company is. They have not, like, you know, had too many segments or whatnot compared to other, other matches. So I think this is going to be one of those two matches that are, that are going to, meh, like, you know, I would say 
bring down the crowd match. I would say like you know, like uh, I would say sort of uh, break in the break in the in the uh, energy match because you cannot like if you if you have a crowd sustained for a very long time, energetic for a very long time. Towards the end, you see that they're not that energetic because they're tired. So this is gonna be that match. Although actually to that that claim there's a there, there's some there's some contradiction to it because I watch cricket I especially I watch ODI cricket ODI cricket are seven plus hour long affairs and if a home team is winning and beating the whooping the ass of an opposition team you have no idea how much energetic you know how energetic they you know they're going to be for the entirety of the match anyway um Next, you have Rosemary versus Taya Valkyrie, uh, and this is listed as a red wedding match. Now, I don't know what a red wedding match is because, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna click on it and, and get any possible spoilers. But some people are saying it might be a first blood match, but still, we're gonna see what it is. And I have a feeling. Uh, Oh, uh, sorry for the for the team triple for the team uh, thing match. Uh, mm, for the team uh, team impact versus team triple A match. I think team impact gonna win. Okay, for the Rosemary versus uh, Ty Valkyrie match, I think the match is gonna be. It's not gonna be awesome. It's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna you. You're gonna have your uh, hardcore elements in it, and if it's gonna be a first blood match. I think Ty Valkyrie is the is the woman that draws blood, or it might be Rosemary that is the is the one who draws blood. There are some speculation that crazy crazy Steve might return for this match, or maybe for the set of tapings as well. If that happens, you know what? So be it. I would love to see the Decay back again. I w I would love to I would love to see the Decay back again. Okay, uh, if Rosemary is not going to win, it, however, if Rosemary is going to win, I want to see Rosemary moved to a program for the knockouts, the, you know, the knockouts championship again, but I want Rosemary to win, but my gut tells me that Ty Valkyrie is going to win because Ty Valkyrie they're giving her this grand entrance and everything, so I, for some reason, I have a feeling Ty Valkyrie is going to win, or maybe Rosemary does win because the company's very high on Rosemary as well. So, so we'll see. Maybe Ty Valkyrie, you know, wins the feud, you know, down the line in the set of tapings. You never know. Okay. Next, we we we're, we're getting a. Uh, Abyss with James Mitchell versus uh, 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 Grado. This is going to be a monster's ball match, and if Grado loses, you know, you know, you know, he, you know, he's out of the, he's out of the, uh, he's out of Impact Wrestling. Okay, now this match, this is going to be your comedy relief match, which I feel this is going to be a comedy relief match, and this match is going to involve you know a lot of pre-tape segments and whatnot, like. This is going to be your deletion type match. And I am all for that. Guys, you know me. I love the deletion segments. I love the, you know, I, you know, I love the broken brilliance type segments. This is, if anything, this is going to be that type of match. And I think this is not, this might be a bit short, but this is going to be entertaining. I have a strong feeling this is going to be entertaining, especially at a pay-per-view like Bound for Glory. What I want to see, I want to see Vanguard 1 return. Because remember, Impact Wrestling and Anthem own the intellectual property. I want Vanguard 1 to return. And in fact, I want the Lake of Reincarnation to return as well. It, it doesn't have to be a lake at Matt Hardy's house. It can just be just a random lake. Where Grado get, uh, jumps in and comes out as Odarg. 
Where like I, I don't know. I don't know where Abyss jumps in and comes out as uh, with the decay face paint on and like you know Crazy Steve and Rosemary you know join him you know or something like they can get very creative. You, see, here's the thing with the deletion segments. The your the possibilities of how creative you can be is actually expanded expanded much more. Now like you're not con you're not confined to the ring. You're not confined to the ring. You you know. You can actually use, you can actually use a lot of the the, the freedom that a lot of, of the freedom that pre-taped segments and editing provides to you, to actually come out with a very entertaining product. So I think that's that's what's going to happen, and that's what should happen. And I think Abyss Abyss wins. Oh uh, no 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 sorry. I think Grado wins. Uh, like Grado gets some help, but through that help, Grado wins. I really think Grado, and guys, guys, something just hit me. I think the person who helps Grado is Mahabali Shera, because Mahabali Shera is not on the card. And guys, just to be honest, I will absolutely, guys, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a PhD student, like, yeah, whatnot, but I will absolutely mark out if they if they have someone called Broken Mahabali Shera. I will absolutely mark out. Guys on Blitzsports, Blitzsportsnetwork.com will know exactly what I'm what I'm talking about. But anyway, this should be the entertaining match. And like I say, if if Abyss wins, it's going to be like, you know, I guess pretty emphatic. But if Grado wins, which I really, which I actually think Grado will win, I think it's going to be using some help from the outside. Maybe not Mahabali Shera, maybe even thing, maybe even... Rockstar Spud, you, you never know. They might have signed him to a to a one night only deal or something like that, or just you know sign him to a deal where you know instead of American visa, he gets a Canadian visa. Okay. Moose next match: Moose and Stephen Bonner versus King Mo and Lashley in a steel cage match. First thing, what I thought about when they got to the steel when they add the steel cage. I thought Moose is jumping off that steel cage. Either gonna do an elbow drop or a splash or perhaps even a moonsault off the top of the steel cage. And a lot of them promise there's gonna be blood or whatnot. In 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 terms of the bleeding, maybe it's King Mo or maybe it's Stefan Bonner that does the bleeding. Or maybe even Mo Moose and Lashley. But still uh, this match might be a bit disappointing because I don't think Stefan Bonner is going to do too much of the wrestling. Neither is King Mo. I think Lashley and Musa, Musa is going to do much of the wrestling. However, the build for this match has been very, very good. Very, very good. So, this match, I am completely expecting Moose to win. Who I think should win is Moose, and who I think will win based on the booking is Moose. Because, if anything, I think Moose is the one who eventually becomes world champion. Okay, next. We get to Sienna versus Ali versus Gil Kim. Triple threat for the knockouts title match. This match, I think, is going to be... Sh once again, this is going to be short. Because, once... Look. Ali... Like, I haven't seen too much from her in Impact Wrestling. Like, you know, for her to... Like, you know, for me to warrant high expectations of her. Sienna is an off and on type wrestler, but you know, she needs to be there with someone who can take the stiff bumps. And I'm sorry, but Gail Kim, from what I, from what I heard, she's, she, she's uh, almost out of at least Impact Wrestling. Because, you know, she's, she's having some, she's having some back problems. So, I don't think she's going to take that many stiff bumps in this match. However, I think Gail Kim... 
no, what who I think should win is Gail Kim because what I think should happen is Gail Kim winning the title and either Gail Kim vacates the title and retires or Gail Kim gets into a program with Ali and finally puts uh, Ali or or Rosemary or whatnot and puts them over emphatically on her way out in this set of impact tapings. That's what I think should happen. That's what I think, you know, should happen. What I think will happen is uh, I think uh, either okay either Ali might win or Sienna might win. Okay, if Sienna wins, now if Ali wins, you know, it's basically to get a, to get to get the Canadian pop. If Sienna wins, I'll get to it in a little bit. Okay, now OVE and LAX 5150 street fight. This match, one of the speculation is that the person who's going to help OVE is Sammy Callahan. Apparently, Sammy Callahan was the the partner of Ohio is for Killers, OI4K, the formal name for OVE. So, and like you know, based on the hand gestures and the hand tattoos and whatnot, a lot of people are speculating that this is going to be Sammy Callahan. So, if it's going to be Sammy Callahan, you know what? I think OVE is going to win. However, however, if Alberto El Patron if Alberto El Patron joins LAX, then I think LAX are going to win. At the same time when when Sammy Callahan joins OVE. So we'll see what happens with that. So who do I want to see win? I personally want to see LAX win. But if Sammy Callahan shows up for OVE, Excuse me. I want OVE to win because you cannot waste that momentum. Like what you showed up just just to see your team lose. Okay. Now the second to last match, Trevor Lee versus versus uh, Desmond Xavier versus San. Uh, wait, ver sorry. Versus Garza Jr. versus Hippie Seidel versus P.D. Williams versus Sanjay Dutt for the X Division title match. This match. I think it's going to be pretty long. And I think this is going to be like, you know, one of the ones that actually steal the show. Okay. The only problem I have with this is like Desmond Xavier, like I want him to like, you know, use a more emphatic finisher. Maybe even a 630, who knows. Okay. Now, all six guys are are, are pretty good. Even if, although the worst of the six uh, of the six people is uh, Hippie Seidel. Still, all all six, all six guys are pretty good. Who do I think will win? Oh, sorry. Who do I want to win? Um, if you ask me, I want P.D. Williams to win, and then on his and then towards the end of the Canadian tapings, I want P.D. Williams to drop the belt to someone. Who do I think will win? Either Desmond Xavier or Trevor Lee. Now notice the pattern here. I'm no I'm naming one face and one heel. One face and one heel. One face and one heel in this championship matches. This all builds to the main event. Eli Drake. Uh with Chris Adonis, that's on Wikipedia page, versus versus Street Jesus Johnny Impact. And the type of match is a, a singles match for the Impact Global. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you know there there are no there are no uh, stipulations named, but yeah. Okay. First of all, this match is going to be long. This match is going to have storytelling, and I have a feeling this match is going to be is going to be, uh, have no DQ as you know as well. And this match is going to
like you know it's going to be good it's going to it's going to draw fans it's going to draw fans in especially with Eli Drake storytelling and Johnny uh, and Johnny Impact's athleticism although like as much as I don't like Johnny Impact like you know I can't take away the fact that he's actually he's actually quite quite athletic but here's the thing in terms of the outcome first of all if Alberto Al Patron does not show up in the LAX segment Alberto El Patron must show up in this segment. Second, if Alberto El Patron does not show up in this LAX segment, remember last week Eli Drake was talking on the phone to someone, you know, for them to show up. You know, they know that last time they work out, but you know, they, you know, they, but they want he wants someone to show up again. Maybe Tyrus comes back. Maybe Tyrus comes back, or maybe someone else comes back and helps Eli Drake. However, here's the thing. Notice the pattern I've I've uh, I've established with the championship matches that you have one. Who do I think will win is either one face or one heel. If all the this is this is just my prediction. If all the faces win, Eli Drake is going to retain. If all the heels win Eli Drake is going to drop the belt to Johnny Impact which I do not want to see happen because I don't want Johnny listen Johnny Impact I'm sorry I'm I'll, I'll, I'll say this right now Johnny Impact is not world title material Johnny Impact is not world title material at least not in at least not in American wrestling he is not world title material he is tag team title material, of course. X Division title material, more more than deserving. Okay, even Grand Championship material, hell yeah. But World title material, no. Some may even say knockout title material, maybe. You know, given given how his his wife got s- stolen from him by the Admiral Admiral Batista. Okay. Sorry if if if, if that caused some uh my. If that caused some mic distortion, I'm just I'm still trying to figure out the proper length, you know, you, you know, you know, to hold this microphone. I don't have a I don't have a stand. I don't I don't know what a good stand from. Okay. But this is an opportunity for Impact Wrestling to pull out the surprises, pull out pull out the returns. Impact Wrestling, the the moments they have to pull out the surprises and pull out the returns like especially like you know to warrant like you know if you have to justify that you're making some room uh, like you know you're releasing so many people to, to make some room for new talent to come in you have to start filling up that room in a very big way at this pay-per-view the three most opportune moments you know for that to happen the abyss versus the abyss versus Grado match. The the LAX versus OVE match and this match. Yes, you have a few more chances at the Rosemary match and, and Gail K match, whatnot. But these three matches are the most oper- are the most uh like you know Like are the like are the most emphatic times where you can bring people in, and like you know slowly, gradually you know show more people to keep more momentum, like you know go, go growing more momentum for the show. Like damn, all these people showed up. Okay. So, guys, the, like I said, who do I want to see win? Eli Drake. Who do I think will win? If Eli Drake wins, it's going to be with some outside interference. Like you know, you he will, he's going to have mo- he's going to have more than Chris Adonis show up. If Eli Drake is going to win, if however Eli Drake does not have more than Chris Adonis show up, Johnny Impact wins, which I do not want to see happen. So there you go. That's my prediction for Bound for Glory. Do I think the pay-per-view will deliver? Absolutely. I think this pay-per-view will deliver because Impact Wrestling and Anthem is 
in a posi- in a situation where they need this pay per view to deliver big time, so they cannot afford it not to deliver, because based on this, the rest of the the rest of the shows are going to have the momentum. Based on this, the rest of the shows in the Aberdeen Pavilion are in in Impact Wrestling are going to have the the the, the fallout momentum of like you know from Bound for Glory. All right, and that's about it. Guys, let me know what your predictions are in the comment section below. And who do you think are the faces that are going to show up if they're going to show up? Who do you think are the surprises that, you know, you know that's going to show up? All right. All right, I'm looking forward to comments and suggestions. This is the MC Time on the side, the Bengal Dragon signing out. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on Twitter at TanTalk01, and hit that bell notification button. And I will see you... Right after Bound for Glory.